what's in it? What does this mean to you? If this makes it, what does that mean for you? You blow the pitch, you go back home, nothing happens with this, you close up shop, what do you have to lose? I don't like going into too much detail with that, uh, but... Whatever it is, get that off your chest so that you can come on stage tomorrow and sell the hell out of this thing. Evie. From the moment we walked out, my heart leapt. I didn't expect we'll be received like international big guests that have just arrived. Oh, it was it was that, really happy. Actually, that was the first time anyone actually held, held a black card yeah. for me. <laughs> Anywhere. Anywhere. There's a bike lane. You don't want to go into bike lane. Okay. Are we going to be able to make it by 10.30? No. No? Probably by tomorrow, though. Tomorrow? Yeah. Shit. Silicon Valley is really small and tight-knit. If you get a bad rep, you will have a bad rep for a really long time. Especially like if at 16 you walk in the building and you're overconfident, they're not gonna like you. Ah, it's too bad. It's long, it's too bad. It everything. Yeah, I smell bad. Sorry. <laughs> the first thing he said when I uh, saw him was like, don't hug me. I don't smell very good. So I was like, I haven't seen you for a year. You're worried about how you smell? It's okay, just give me a hug. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good morning! Welcome to Silicon Valley Week. This program is gonna be the hardest thing that you guys have ever done, because you're gonna to have to take literally an idea and turn it into a reality. You are the top teams from 1,043 projects, which literally makes the people in this room the top 1% of hackers from all over the world. So well done, guys. Yeah, give yourselves a round of applause. With that, Luster, are you ready? Oh, is this what? Yeah. Even though Vine died, the, the point still remains. Our generation has the lowest attention span yeah, ever exactly. recorded. We want stuff now. We want it now, we want it quick, we don't want to have to ask. Next day delivered. We exactly. want it to be given to us. Everything should be tailored to what we want. No, that's too entitled. Nomad, helping retailers integrate object recognition to their e-commerce solution. Let's say I like some dope shoes that Jacob's wearing. I can take a photo or screen grab if he posted it. From there, it'll find that exact shoe. Nomad, all aboard to transform the retail industry. Where's your demo? Well, our demo isn't working yet. Your entire pitch is gonna be based around that demo. I know. I have the demo. Okay. This is ugly, man. The first version is supposed to be embarrassing. I, this is not your first version. Is it your first? This is my first for Angel Hack. <laughs> so just not good. Hello, everyone. My name is Shahid, CEO and co-founder of Baridi. We are an on-demand service which finds freelance couriers to deliver packages within a given region. The grand vision of Baridi is to unite the Arab region through e-commerce and logistics. Ahmed and I have been together for over two years. We have experience in Uber, Postmates, DoorDash. Very nice to meet you. Handshakes, handshakes. How are you? Okay guys, blow me away because everybody has been telling me about Report Taka and how amazing you guys are. One of the things that happens in Nairobi once it rains, uh, the whole place gets flooded the drainage system that we have in Kenya, the little uh, does not work as efficiently as it's supposed to do. Um, reports are made via Twitter, and you just need to tag report tucker. We are able to aggregate this data, analyze it, and see which is what is um, uh, what report is actually talking about garbage, and we are able to uh, attend to it. Next. Next. Follow us on Twitter, say hi to us, and visit our website. Thank you. Um, I'm going to actually pass the mic for the first round of this over to Adi. No? No, you go. You sure? 
Yeah, oh. you go. Ahead. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot here, guys. Um, I need a clear demo. I need a clear value proposition. I need a clear business plan. I need a clear ask. Right now, if I'm sitting here as a judge or investor, the way this is built out, I'm going to say, cool, this sounds great for Kenya, and I'm going to move on. Milan, you gave Nomad a three? Yeah, just from a structure perspective, I think they, for me, are the closest one to a three. Their tech hasn't been working from like week one. No, no, and we've let it slide. That's, that's, no. that's not correct. We've let them that's slide way too much. That's, that's not Milan. correct. I just talked to them Milan. this morning. No. They can scan a shoe. What they want to do now is they want to build the algorithm out to a point that it can set other data sets that are not yet in the database, which is to totally different pairs of shoes. I'm more concerned about giving them a pat on the back right now. I'm not voting for bringing them in, I'm just saying if I, no, there is I want a three. to bring them in, but I want to bring them in on the low side. Devin, how far do you think we can get by tonight? We can at least get the five shoes recognized. Fuck yeah, five is the civic, that's fine. Watch the language, bro. Parents are gonna watch this. Oh yeah, don't put too many things in me cursing. Report talker, that pitch is nowhere near ready. They need some like hardcore hands-on training. They gotta come up with something tomorrow, because <laughs> otherwise I'm not comfortable even like giving them a chance to even get on stage. All right, guys, let's go. Right, right here. Right here. With me. Sir, what do you think? Well, the highest or lowest? Uh, I don't. I don't like the you know. Inshallah, I'm with the, the lowest. Inshallah, with the highest. We we didn't do very good. Um. Okay. So I guess the biggest question is. Where are you at now in terms of if you can, if you were to demo something, like what is like the real situation of where you guys are at in terms of tech and over the next couple of days? So we're in the very final stage of training and training is the part after the algorithm has been done. It recognizes the stuff. Then we had to build a piece to pull the data and change it into the training data. That's been done. But this is the first time that we've trained. So it gets a little bit through and it runs into an error and we have to go through and fix it. We think we figured out the bug, but we're not sure. We will know later tonight. I think Mark Zuckerberg is pretty cool. I mean, he has a multi-billion dollar company. He uh, can buy anything he wants. If you ask him, does he have a Ferrari, he could say, yeah, I own Ferrari. Did he finish college? He did, right? He dropped right? out of uh, Harvard. He dropped out too? Even if he makes the next Facebook, he still can't drop out. We'll see about that. Yeah, well, you gotta get through high school first. Okay. That'd be really nice. All right. Make sure the light's off in the garage. Okay. Thanks. I got a sticker from every hackathon I went to, and I just completely loaded the front of this. Polka did the same with his. We had like a hot streak. We won like eight of them in a row. We thought we were gods. Little brothers, man, what are you gonna do? You said you don't have a girlfriend. Yeah, but I lied. I'm not gonna tell you because you're gonna, you you're gonna times. go rat to mom and dad. If I ever get like a bad grade on a test or something, it'll automatically be, was it because you were spending too much time with her? It's such a distraction. It's junior year, you can't be distracted. Things like that. What do you think? Are you gonna have an arranged wedding or? Why are we talking about this? I'm like 16, bro. Your 20s are for partying. Okay. And then 30s are for settling down and starting a family. You will get married at 25. <laughs> Ethan called me up at the very last moment and was like, hey, can you make me a really quick server? He asked Polkit to do it, but he, he didn't do his job for like a month or something. And so I did it in like one or two hours. And he was like, okay, you can have 15% of the company now. <laughs> so this is our really one opportunity to build this before anyone else does. If we don't get funding now, I am sure that some other company will do it before us and they will do it better. You guys went a little ahead of yourselves in terms of the roadmap. You are so ambitious. You took yourselves the opportunity for other people to take you serious. You look young. People aren't gonna take you seriously unless you can come on and be like, 
this is what we've built. It has to be showcasing the tech. We have to have something to show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now we don't. Yeah. Fuck. All right. God damn it. I knew that was going to happen. Fuck it. We're staying up tonight. <sighs> OK. OK, report Taka. Can I have you guys in the conference room, please? Thank you. OK, so not going to beat around the bush. Uh, not the performance we were hoping for tonight. Um, I'm just going to be honest. If I were to go through two more pitch rounds with you guys, I still think it would be tight. And I don't think it'd be ready. I don't think I can let you go onto the stage on Thursday. Tibra is a slum in Nairobi. It's one of the biggest in East Africa. And it's where I live. There's a river that flows through there. It's called the Nairobi River. It's one of the most, most polluted rivers in Kenya. Where I live, in the main town, uh, there's a drainage that's full of plastic bottles. It's like everyone throws it specifically at that spot. The, the people who live there, they can't afford to pay for garbage collection, so there's a lot of illegal dumping there. A friend of mine whose house was really close to the river, the water flooded from the river and came into their house. The rains are too heavy or there's flooding. Most of the houses are swept away. You will do another pitch to this group here. You're going to pitch and we're going to see where things are. That said, we're going to reserve the right that if something isn't fully up to snuff, you won't pitch on stage at Global Demo Day. So that is going to be your last chance to get up to a, a good place. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So I think we were the lowest scoring team or something. Eh? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, I never thought to do. Hi, guys. Hello. How do we feel about the pitch tonight? Uh, wasn't great. For me, it was probably one of the weakest design um, pitches that we saw today. Yep. We're just going to keep saying it, design, design, design. We will fix that. We will fix that definitely okay. tomorrow. That said, we actually thought you were one of the two top pitches for that. Oh, well, OK. Really? Good. <laughs> All right. Really? So, He's telling me. We, we fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I saw opportunity. In Palestine, they have investors that are coming in. There's funds of $300 million that are established. These funds are looking for reliable entrepreneurs that they don't find very much in the region right now. We started in 2014. It was Shaher's idea. I was very, very excited. The problem is that he's in New York and I'm in Palestine. And my opinion is that he should be on top of the business and on top of the employees. If you're not breaking down every single thing so that it's like third grade steps, they won't do every single step. The American way, they are always sharp on time and uh, they do things efficiently. We don't do it this way. Actually doing it from a distance, it's like a chess game. You're actually moving the pieces. You can see it from outside the box. When you're inside, you don't really see what's going on. They just need us to have a demo. They just need us to prove that we did stuff. Yeah. Right? Because we have the least credibility. We're 16. Mm -hmm. Not really. That kind of looks lame. Uh, I don't know, dude, actually. Uh, Halloween party looks kind of lit. OK, the right side looks a lot more lit than the left side, not going to lie. Like, the right side looks super fun. Even they get to celebrate Halloween. 
They're adults. Yeah. I'm 16. I okay. should be the one celebrating. Okay, well, they're celebrating it very differently than we are. It doesn't matter. At their age, they should be paying taxes and working. And I should be the one partying. But instead, I'm the one working and they're the ones who are partying. I remember he said our presentation was soft. It lacked all the elements that got us here. The truth hurts, but it's the truth. <laughs> Actually, um, I didn't think that they will rate us as one of the highest No, I thought we were going to be like the bottom because, two. Because we need a lot of improvement. Yeah, my, my, I know my, present, my, graphic, my graphics aren't very good. <laughs> it's ugly. Ah, man, man I, I can do <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. If I snore and if I bother you, just kick me or something. Okay. Hi guys. Adi, do you want to start this one? Okay, so going back to the beginning, um, when you talk about the link between flooding and garbage, like it's it's great. Like it, you really understand why you need garbage collection. That can be articulated in you know a couple of sentences to so just make that link very very clear. And I liked the opening. I liked the you added a little bit of personal touch to it and personality to it. Um, I like that, but I think for me, this slide with the solution slide, in addition to what you have with the demo, it, you've just, you've yeah. double hit the same thing. There's no need to. And to be honest, I really don't like this slide. Yeah. I, I really don't like this. <laughs> yeah, Dad, you called nothing, same old. All right. Hey, keep no, no, we yeah. walked to the hostel last night. We are coming. Um, yeah, no problem. We, Don't worry leaving. about it. You can We've be late. We've already left the hostel. We're going to be calm, You have to do your own thing. Ki unka yahan pe ye system hai, right? We're under 18. So we have to stay in the room with the chaperone. Okay. You know what? But I'm happy. It works. I think it may actually work today. True. Everyone has a leather jacket. I just need a leather jacket. I pay for the whole thing, Ahmed assists with whatever he can. But uh, I expect my uh, investment re returned, and we talked about that. We have to actually do it in writing, <laughs> but yes. So I mean, between partners, if I put in $10,000 before we get an investment, I expect the $10,000 back, he will take a, a salary cut. I think as long as you are on the same page, that's the most important part, because any kind of disharmony that exists between the two of you, that'll just create chaos. Before you go back to Palestine, that founders agreement that Angel Hack recommended that we fill out, we have to go through every single part of it. Now that we're sitting together and fill it out all the way. Okay, man, let's we get the investment it. first, yeah. No. I have no problem. What's the difference between getting the investment first or getting the investment later? What's the difference? We can, I mean, we should write all that down. I, I, to make me comfortable, one, okay. I need to understand. Okay, okay, we'll discuss it. Yeah, and we will discuss it before I leave. You want to wait until after the Thursday event? Sure. I need to make sure you are on the same page. Man, okay, so we'll we talk about it tonight. I'm going to print out the founders agreement. We're going to go over the founders agreement one Man, by okay, one. I'm and we're going to yes. put everything inside. Okay, I'm saying yes. Okay, good. I'm not saying no. Just making sure. So I understand you made it all the way from Kenya. Yes. I was there two months ago in your beautiful country. <laughs> Thank so, you. Some of the most friendly people I've ever met were Kenyan people. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think you guys have a unique opportunity around the trash problem in Nairobi. The question is, what's the economic incentive to get them to, to recycle the material? That economic analysis might need to be done. Because if the economics were already there, then they'd probably already be doing it. Dear Lord, we come before you this morning thanking you for our elders in our church in our country and in the world. Protect them and give them good health. I think money is important, but um, we want to change people's lives. What we stood for as a company is something way more than money. It might take a while for you to get value in terms of money from Report Taka. 
but the value to the human beings who we create solutions for. That is the biggest, biggest thing we want to do. My parents are so excited. I'm the first person in our family to come to America. And when you go there, you represent as well as a family, and you be a good ambassador for our country. See there. And for Africa. Yeah, for Africa also. Yeah. I would frame it in a bigger way than you are. I don't think just sort of using an app to locate garbage to prevent it from going down storm drains is what you're doing. I think you guys are creating a bigger solution, which is using technology to privatize a recycling system that doesn't exist in Nairobi, right? And then in, in, in an essence, creating jobs is part of that too. We really appreciate your help. Yeah, I, I hope it was helpful and not discouraging. Yeah. <laughs> Currently, we're working towards the goal of taking photo of a shoe and finding that exact shoe. Um, actually, we're training for that right now. So which image recognition libraries are you guys using? We built our own from scratch. Why? What we found wasn't working, wasn't scalable. That's not accurate. Why did you not take an open source library and modify it? OK, so I get what you're saying. We did take the open CV library. OK. Are you familiar with that? Yes. So we did build off the OpenCV library. OK, so what you're doing is you're taking an open source library and branching it. Branching off. Yeah, because otherwise, essentially, okay. I'd meet you guys in 42 more years, and you would yes. almost be done. How big's the industry? I don't know. Do your homework. All right. You need to know. You're the CEO of your damn business. Right? I'm being, I'm being hard yeah. on you. I'm no, being no, hard I agree. on you right now. We need that. Because you came in here, cocky 16-year-old. Yep. You guys are the youngest kids in the building, right? And I love that. That's exciting. But you need to know your stuff. So, you guys are young guys. What do you? What's your full-time job today? School. Student. Okay. So, how are you? You managing your time? Because investors are going to be concerned about the fact that you're still in school. Someone says, "Yeah, we'll give you an investment, but you have to drop out of school today." Would you do it? No. No. Okay. So, school first. Yeah. yeah. How do you overcome that as a barrier? You're all committed to school for the next, let's say, two years. I'm not convinced because it's kind of like a hobby project right now. It's a cool one, like a really cool project. But to move away from a hobby project, go full time on the weekends. You're five days a week at school, two days a week on your business. You've got to commit the hours relentlessly. No holidays, no nothing. He's right, dedication is something we really need to focus on. And the whole full-time weekend, I mean, it's not a fun idea, but it's the only thing that we can do to be successful. I mean, I don't, I don't think it's a time-based thing, it in is my opinion. It's a time-based thing. You're really busy, right? Yeah. That's cool. Especially you, you have a huge social life. Yeah, but we all, OK, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, you have a huge social life. Yeah. But to be successful, you may need to move a little bit away from your huge social life. So I'm not saying, like, I'm not saying just screw around the entire week and do Nomad for like an hour, but I'm saying like the model we have right now obviously is working because it's not we're working. here. We're here, but we're not as far as we could be. Uh, you guys have been working all day with Audie and I here. If it is not up to standard, you will not pitch at Global Demo Day. Three minutes on the clock. Uh, Kibera is one of the largest slums we have in Africa, and it is based in Nairobi. Nairobi River runs through the slum, and every year it floods, causing homelessness and deaths to many Kenyans. So meet Report Taka, a platform that allows citizens to report unattended garbage whenever they find it using Twitter. Would love to sell this data to policymakers who can use it to better inform their decision making process with regards to waste management. Report Taka is highly scalable. It can be used to report other issues, uh, not only garbage, and can be used in other countries, not only in Kenya. Thank you very much, and we would really appreciate if you follow us on Twitter and talk to us. Thank you. Time. There's still work to be done, but I think it's great. I think it's really, really good for you guys to come in, you know, meet us here at 10 a.m. this morning, 
um, and do what you did, really put in the time. You should be very happy with the progress that you guys made today. That's pretty much where we want to go on the demo day stage. As of right now, you're not in fear of being cut from the stage, so that's good. All right, thank you very much, I appreciate it. How much did that give you? I don't know. Here we go, 50 you said? All right, okay, 70. Yes, now Uber. Or we're gonna do another Uber? No, yesterday and today. What, $6.80? Okay. You wanna look at $6.80 for an Uber ride? And you wanna look at $140 now? Or you wanna look at it as a big picture? Yeah, 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 man, you are, you are strange, man. I'm trying to understand what I your, I, what I your tried, logic is behind this. I don't want you to pay everything. Fine, that's not a problem. I, I, I try but, to make it between us. Why do you want? You want? I'm sorry. You want to make it between us now? These or because there's a camera here. <laughs> there's a camera yeah, here. Camera or Ahmed, camera? Ahmed, I don't Ahmed, care. Let's be clear. We, we can be very, very clear about this. Fuck the camera. Okay, fuck the camera. Fuck the documentary. Fuck the documentary. Don't tell me now you want to do one dollar here, four dollars there. You don't want me to do that? Okay, I, I will not do that. Ahmed, I, I'm, I'm looking for all the financial support I can get. Okay. But I understand you have you a wife and kids. You don't want me to pay. I don't it. understand no, you. I, Maybe it's my English, no, no, Yanni, but I'm no. not trying. I don't understand. Ahmed, I want to pay. I want to pay. I want to pay. I want. What do you want to pay? Do you want to just pay the shirts? Do you want to pay for Uber? Do you want to pay for employees' salaries too? I'm trying to funnel as much money as possible to my team so that they can pay for bills. And the salary that I make in Palestine in one month is equivalent to what I make as an Uber driver in New York for one week. He's not married, doesn't have any kids. All of his mind is there is in this business. And if it doesn't work, then it's, it's a big loss for him. I love what you're doing, but I really want you to settle down. Now it's time to reproduce. Reproduce. I have 11 nieces and nephews. Help, yeah. <laughs> so Help. I'm good. What do you want me, Yanni? I'm not sure what do you want me to do, Yanni. Because I'm your co-founder and I understand you have bills that you need to pay. It's mm -hmm. okay, I understand. Okay. Also, you have an outsourcing company. It's fine. We respected that in the beginning, okay. right? And you always we have your own business it. as well. We agreed to it. What own business? We worked in jobs that benefited Baridi. The money that I made from them, I still had to borrow $20,000 from my sister to live. I swear to God. I believe so I didn't you. make any money. I made $100 a day, $75 a day. There's also a problem, Shar. You, you, you forget it. You are outside the country. Yes, so? This is the farthest we've gotten. Right. Ever. But when... And I'm doing it outside you, the country. Sah, but if you did the same while you are in the country, it would be much better. This is what you think. Well, but I'm think. looking at it from the outside perspective. Well, I, well, I, I, I seem to be succeeding right. more outside the country than I am inside the country. I need something to wake me up, bro. There's tea, I want some no, tea. No. Doesn't tea put you to sleep? No. It has caffeine in it, Polk it. That doesn't mean anything it's to because Have you ever had tea? Uh-huh, it makes me sleep. I'm gonna train with only five images right now. So. Yeah, good call, do it. What'd they think? They thought it was great. They just don't know what to do because they're in the demo. Yeah, we could have pulled the Challenge. whole thing out of our ass. Who's doing the work, Devin? Yeah, Devin has been a godsend. We have an hour and a half. That'll be done in an hour and a half, right? I don't know. Cool. We pitch again at six, so we may have a demo then. You're pretty confident that you'll uh, yeah. get that demo to work by six? Uh, um, I would give it a 50-50 chance. 
Oh, so we're setting it set it to 2,000? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that'll be done in a minute. For some reason, it's segmentation fault at the very end. It's freezes, right? No, it's just segmentation fault at the end. What does that mean? It says segmentation fault. Oh. What happened? Don't worry about it. You know how to do what Devin's doing right now? No, nah, absolutely. Fuck, same here. How long do you think it'll take? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, because we're done in time? I hope so. Ever. I'm praying. We're fucked. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if I need you all to shut down your computers, close them up, because it's time once again for the group pitches. So everybody, computers off. Please start coming over here. Don't make me walk over to your tables. Is it going to work? No. What was that? No, no. OK. Nomad team, computers close, please. Tonight, we will cut you off at three minutes. You won't be able to talk any more than that. Will, are you ready? I'm ready. Three minutes on the clock. Hey, everyone. We're representing Austin. We're Automatter IO. TextND allows patients to know whether or not they need to go to the hospital, and it tells them where the nearest hospital is. Compared to where your deck was yesterday, there's definitely a huge improvement. Did you guys do that on purpose to be so bad yesterday and so good today? Oh, no, uh, not at all. <laughs> that was, that was <laughs> an amazing improvement. I'm super, super proud of you guys. <laughs> Ethan. Yeah. You alright? Yeah. Hmm. Are you? N yes and no, but would you text me every now and again? I will I'll keep you up here. Am I gonna have to ask for a text? Or would no, you actually be spontaneous and just It's a really strange thing to say, but if something ever happened to Ethan, he has always pushed boundaries. He does his own thing. He's proven everybody wrong that he can do anything, and that's why he lives life to the fullest. He was born with his trachea and his esophagus joined together, and he had surgery on birth. He shouldn't have been with us. So from a very young age, he had to beat the odds. Thank you, Mo. It doesn't oh, work. Really it just, it doesn't turn back. Uh, what I would like to see is your personal story at the top of the pitch. It's just too much text, it's just too much information right now. You definitely want to rework the whole deck. Still a lot of nervous energy from you. Working on it. Yeah, Working on it. I'm sure you are. And if the front end of your solution is as crappy as your deck, I can hardly believe that you even have a single customer. Location, mm -hmm. Take a photo of this shit. If not, take a photo of me. Okay, give it up for Pragma. Nomad, you guys are up. Nomad, helping companies integrate object recognition to their e-commerce solution. My generation wants things now. We don't use Facebook, but we use Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. We want these items, the items that we see our friends wearing on social media, the items that we see real people wear every day. The e-commerce market in mobile is $430 billion. Only 3% was from social media redirects. The solution is Nomad. No single photo or screenshot. Nomad allows the user to find an exact product. Let's take a photo. It's going to classify me as a human. So it called me a person. And if you click person, it'll query it on Amazon. Right now, it isn't there. For some reason, something happened. But that's what we're trying to do. We have had an open conversation with Zappos, trying to work towards an LOI. Time. The biggest concern here, once again, does the tech work? Right now, the answer is, I don't think so. Are you on this team? Polka? Yeah. Can you get on the stage also? So, w w 
I mean, I, I, I kept looking over at you because you're like looking at your nails and I'm not sure what else while he's pitching. Um, are you in it? Like, are you, are you invested in what's happening here? We were trying to get one of the shoes to work right now because it broke, right? So I was watching over there to see if we were good or if we weren't good. Okay. So, I mean, I guess the overall essence is you're not good with the tech. So now every single time that you pitch, unless that tech is up and running, you are doing something that is staged, per se, right? Give it up for Nomad. All right, Baridi, are you ready, sir? Go. Hello, everyone. My name is Shahid, CEO and co-founder of Baridi. Baridi is an on-demand service which finds... It has to work by tomorrow, otherwise to they're not going to let us onto the stage. Like, yeah, tech or whatever. They don't want to run the name of their new accelerator. Yeah. So we need to blow minds. All right, Poke, we got this. We got okay. this. We provide our customers with an app. We also provide people who are looking to, for jobs or extra income with another app. This helps both parties connect. We have competitors in the region. But we surpass them on the top issues. After growing out of Ramallah with 50 customers and 100 couriers, we want to go to two more cities in Palestine and then go out to Jordan and three more cities in that country. Time. Give it up for Baridi. I, I mean, I can give you a ton of different feedback here, but the pauses, the, 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 the adamant amount of stress, I think you're really overthinking where you're at right now. What's in it? What does this mean to you? If this makes it, what does that mean for you? Well, it's, uh, first it's, it was to make money, but now it's more to ins inspire the people in the region. It's so you're cool. doing this to inspire people in the region. That's Is right. this going to change your life at all? Is it, does it impact you? Impact uh, the entrepreneurs within Palestine who don't have the courage to grow a business, who are looking in, looking into. So what do you have to money. lose if this thing doesn't? If you blow the pitch, you go back home, nothing happens with this. You close up shop. What do you have to lose? I don't like going into too much detail with that, uh, but. Uh, but the thing is, you already are. You're telling me your entire story every single time you're blowing this pitch. You're telling me there's a shit ton that's riding on Barili being successful and that it means a lot to you and that you cannot leave without your definition of success. So, I mean, you, you, you're you looking for the, you, you believe I should go through the personal angle. I, I think it, that you like just need to have a moment to yourself, not on stage or maybe with your co-founders and really talk about whatever it is get that off your chest so that you can come on stage tomorrow and sell the hell out of this thing. Give it up for Baridi. gets released in the car sometimes when you're alone. You just talk to yourself. Like, why the fuck did that? You just talk to yourself sometimes in the car. You just let it out. From my father's health, he used to hold things in and he got really, really fat. Got, became a diabetic. Died from an aneurysm because he used to always hold things in. What is releasing it? Is releasing it screaming and yelling or is releasing it just sharing what the problem is? And how else are you supposed to release it? Punch somebody? Hit somebody? Why? But in the beginning, it meant uh, growing a business that I can prove to the family that we should go towards a different route. Get away from those 16 hours, seven days a week jobs. Get away from the grocery store. I worked on uh, my father's original grocery store that was, he had for 25 years in Brooklyn, in Cumberland and Lafayette, until the age of 16. We looked at our dad like the example. He lived nobly and he lived honestly. And that's all. He didn't even tell us this is the way that you're supposed to live. He, he lived it. The rent is expensive in New York. So I said to myself, screw it. I'm going to sleep in my car. 
uh, so that eight hundred one thousand dollars a month can pay for two part-time skilled employees in the evening to push the business further. Even if he's saving some money by sleeping on his car, it, it, it makes him depressed, makes him less confident in his life. I need to understand like what is going on, like what is blocking you from going out there and killing it. Well, there, there are issues between us, but like the founders agreement, we didn't fill that out yet. Okay. That you guys were uh, saying that we should fill out before we come. What he doesn't know is that I've gotten screwed a few times before. So 10 year relationship and they leave. So that's something that, that you gotta Let's understand. Let's use this as an opportunity. Let's just get it all off our chest. You don't know how to pitch, uh, you know that. I don't know how to pitch. No, you don't. Okay. Well, so would you like to pitch for me? Do it together. It's yeah. figured it out. If, want to. Listen, it's so if, it, if he, he doesn't do well, well, I wanna, I wanna like accommodate your, your ego also. I have an ego. You have an ego, right? Your ego is bigger than the room. You want to do everything by yourself. It's not your company alone. It's our company. Then we had an argument yesterday, and you got angry, and you're like, mm, pitch, pitch. It's the, it's the Arabic silent treatment. I understand how it is. My mother does it, my brother does it. They don't talk to me for a week, then they come. Yani back. You are talking Arabic, and you are Arabic, and as well. You are making it as an insult. An Arab can insult an Arab. An Arab can insult an Arab. It's not a problem. I am saying we can pitch together. You keep giving hints that you want to do it yourself. I feel it. What do you want to say to make you unfeel it? <laughs> you want to hold your hand? But I'm not going to hold your hand. <laughs> it's just, come on, you're an adult. Let's pitch together. If you both can't come to a compromise, you might as well just end it now. Raise your hand if you have the will to win. Sorry, but that's nothing that's extraordinary. Everybody has the will to win. Who has the will to prepare to win? That means that everyone that raised their hands is going to stay here and work on their decks and work on their pitch and work on their technology until they cannot keep their eyes open anymore. And when that point comes, then you drink a Red Bull or have some coffee and go at it again. Stay here. We're going to be working late tonight. There's still more work to be done. This is your last chance. Okay, I'll do this. I'm away. Jesus Fuck up a shower. We shouldn't do that. Yay. What? This one looks... <sighs> You're not helping. <laughs> Discover, source, purchase. Simply open up a retailer's app, snag a photo open of the shoe, partner's app. and upload it. Snag a photo of a shoe, and then to find the match, I can copy I bring to the speech. exact page. Almost verbatim. I have it almost verbatim. You see my partner? Uh, yeah, he's already left. He left? Yeah, he hasn't. He got put in an Uber. 
What can we really expect in, like, in the next 24 hours, right? It's like, well, I mean, you don't want to like, put your expectations too high, but then again, like, should you be hoping for things? Remember what it was like when you guys started all this. Remember that feeling of winning the hack, of finding a team, of accomplishing something. Remember all the things that got you here. What did you have to go through to get here? Now remember this week. Remember the people who got you through the week. If they happen to be next to you, squeeze their hand. Remember where you started. Remember what you went through. Remember where you are now. Open your eyes. No matter what, no matter what happens, you can come back to this moment. This moment of calm when we all took a second to remember what it took to get us here. I, I think there should be a limit. There has to be a time where you're like, okay, let me focus on my life too. Yeah. You're like on a mission. You're like, okay, I have to do this. These are things I have to do. My father was, uh, on a mission when he'd wake up at six o'clock in the morning, work till 12, come home, sleep from 12 to three, then go back to work, come home back at midnight. That was his life for seven days. Welcome to your global demo day. Have you guys seen the movie Wolf of Wall Street? Of course, that is. Hey. Uh, uh, Matthew McConaughey. Uh, 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 I just have a pre game ritual that I listen to Young Thug before every big thing I do, usually at hockey games back home, but for the pitching right now. Are you nervous? Yeah. Are you? Get that. We'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. We could do it. It's over too. I want to apologize to future Ethan because I tend to procrastinate. Procrastination is just me being a dick to my future self. Guys, they have to copies, containing t-shirts, tickets, marks, currency, I have to search through relevant things in order to provide this action for the hands that could really make a difference. Although we see the solution being applied to a commercial and enterprise setting. We require the resources to hire the necessary skills to make our solution even better. They could go a multitude of ways. The pitch goes shitty. We don't get an investment. 
pitch you so well, get an investment. You have a real fucking company. Today's a big day. In my eyes, we've taken this about as far as we can go. Right now, we need money and we need developers to put it further. That's, that's really, we need the money. I don't know how much this is gonna go without the money. We lay a bit before you, Lord. Father, let her gain the confidence that she needs, Father, so that she can present well. And we pray that we get investors as well today, Father, Lord, we say thank you and give you the glory. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. One hour from now, my whole world will be so much different. Um, I will have pitched in Silicon Valley. I will have pitched a guy Kawasaki. It's also the foundation for next, right? Like now that you've pitched in Silicon Valley, you've pitched in Silicon Valley. It's like the next time you pitch in Silicon Valley, like yeah, old news, because I know how to pitch in Silicon Valley. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our fifth annual Global Demo Day. Looking back throughout the five years that Angel Hack's been around, I've seen a lot of hackathon ideas, a lot of startups, and with each year, I've seen the strength and the success of these emerging companies grow. Companies who once stood on this very stage in previous years have added to our $42 million portfolio. They come from across the globe, from the Middle East, from Europe, India, and right here in the US. The talent, determination, and passion these companies and these entrepreneurs who run them is really what continues to fuel our passion here at Angel Hat. Lustre is an online platform matchmaking emerging designers to fashion lovers for data-driven growth. Now, the industry I'm in is huge. Last year, the spend from consumers was $3 trillion globally. It's also a highly fragmented industry. In Australia, 85% of designers are small to medium independent designers, and this is our target market. We pair shoppers with their perfect designers using style metrics. We gather consumer sentiment data using votes on upcoming designs and incentivize shoppers with exclusive access to pre-sales that they can't get anywhere else. So we are asking for strategic partnerships and investment to help us drive that forward and show aspiring emerging designers everywhere that they can succeed in business. Thank you so much, and I cannot wait to meet you all. Amazon Alexa is an awesome product, and monthly sales are 100,000 units and staying strong. And so far, 3,000 skills have been published to the store, showing true growth and excitement around this platform. You tell us what you want your Alexa to say and when, and our system can automatically build and package that into a skill that's ready for the Alexa store. We need seed funding to continue building this platform so that we can really be the key way that Alexa skills are created in the future. Thank you. Good evening. There are thousands of hashtags trending around right now that are filled with untapped possibility. And we think that we have a solution. The users are able to create lists and sell and buy products for trending hashtags globally and locally. Last 26 days, we did over $10,000 in revenue just with Lanka Comic Con. We think that we are in Silicon Valley for a purpose. That purpose is to meet strategic investors. And we think together we could bring hashtag into shopping. Thank you.
Nomad, helping companies integrate object recognition into their e-commerce solution. My generation is all about the now. We use Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. For those six seconds, that content has our full attention. It's the same for shopping. My friend Ronnie, like many other 14-year-old girls, loves to shop. But she doesn't shop on a retailer site. She shops on social media. 70% of teens have shopped on a retailer site looking for a product that they have seen on social media. The solution is Nomad. Discover, source, purchase. Snag a picture of a product. Then Nomad will find the match and bring you to the exact product. We integrate via plug and play. Just integrate our API and we'll find everything that you have. We monetize this through a rate and fee. Our team is built up of three high schoolers. We go to school every morning, yet we dedicate our weekends and all after school to Nomad. Nomad, all aboard to transform the retail industry. That was really good. That was really good. Fuck yes. That was really good. Okay. Okay, how hard did I slap you? My hand hurts. Yeah, really hard. Yeah, really hard. I'm pretty sure I got five stars. Yeah. Can I have a Stella? No. That was worth the five. There you go. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you so much. No matter. Cheers. <laughs> There's no easy way to automate business customer service. And when you add a new product to your company or change the script for sales agent, you have to completely retrain the call center. Automatter.io is a customer service help desk powered by artificial intelligence. We're making $10,000 a month. Pretty good. Now, if we look at the numbers, we see that there is a 40 to 60% rate of self-diagnosis in rural areas, hurting children, the elderly, and even healthy adults unsure of whether or not they need to go to the hospital. TextMD is able to diagnose a person on whether or not they need to go to a hospital, allows them to find how close that hospital is, and makes it possible to book an appointment. Now, in terms of traction, we are currently operating in Kibera, which is Kenya's largest slum. We've ran through several focus groups and are setting up our first field trials to see what works, what doesn't, and how to tweak it. Thank you. Kibera is one of the largest slums we have in Africa. It is located in Nairobi, Kenya. There is a river that runs through the, the slum, and every year it floods, causing homelessness and a lot of deaths to many Kenyans. The reason why it floods is because there is a lot of unattended garbage, and this is caused by the fact that the residents are unable to pay for garbage collection. Report Taka works in very simple steps. You take a photo of the garbage, create a tweet, tag report Taka, and also tag the location of where the garbage is, then send out the tweet. We are able to get this data from our backend system and analyze the data in real time. We want to get this data to policymakers and government institutions, which can better inform their decision-making process as regards to waste management in Kenya. We are looking to raise 150000 to help us expand the infrastructure and also get mentorship from rel people with relevant expertise. Thank you very much.
so good. <laughs> so good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You did good. You did delicious. Thank you. So amazing. Really. Now breaking up. Huh? Hello, my name is Shahid, CEO of Bridi. And this is my co-founder and CTO, Ahmed. Bridi, Arabic for my mail, is an on-demand service which finds freelance couriers to deliver packages within a given region. In our $40 billion market, in our $40 billion market, our vision is to unite the Arab region through e-commerce and logistics. The domestic delivery segment, which we are currently focusing on, is at $300 million. Our customers in the region, we found three problems that are repetitive in the region. One, they have trouble ordering a package to be picked up. Two, when that courier comes to pick up that package, they are not really reliable. And three, they are very price sensitive in the region. Ahmed and I have found a solution for their problem. Ahmed will talk about it. These problems have been solved in various countries throughout the world, but not so much in the Arab countries we are targeting. We provide a simple solution for our customers, a mobile app for businesses and another one for customers. Our, our competition in the region lack in certain categories in the logistic industry. With over a decade of technical experience and experience in working in Postmates, DoorDash, and Uber, we are the right team to execute on this business model. We are looking for strategic investors who understand our industry and are very interested in our region. If you would like to contact us, about this opportunity, please meet myself or Ahmed after our pitch. Thank you. Guys, so what do you guys think about Baridi? They're all the way here from the Middle East, from Palestine in particular. Um, they have a ton of passion. Uh, one of the co-founders has been in New York, like literally living out of his car. How are we supposed to decide the ultimate winner? We have a number of different guaranteed interviews, um, guaranteed investment to give away. Why don't we go through all the names and just eliminate most of them? If we don't have somebody saying, yep, I want to talk more about them, we take them out. Automatter, Sloop, Bypass, TexMD, Elevate, and Report Taka. Spotlight. You guys are okay, man. Don't worry. Yeah. We, I was looking at it, the initial thing, don't worry about it. We don't even know if we won yet. But we already won. Hey, right here, let's hear that we won. She said that she was interested in being an interim partner and she definitely wants to keep in touch. And this guy, I talked to at the beginning, and he said he works for a VC firm that connects um, people like us, startup founders like us who don't have any money yet. Devin, I am so fucked for all of this homework. Oh, yeah, but two. You know what? Fuck it. Ladies and gentlemen, after some crazy deliberation, we have winners! Yeah!
Once again, thank you all so much for coming out tonight. We have so many prizes, uh, interviews, investment that we need to give away. So we are just going to get straight to it. Techstars is building a global ecosystem for founders to bring new technologies to market. And we have present. Techstars, that'd be good. The two where we're giving guaranteed interviews are Luster. And the second is Elevate. We are not going to write one check tonight. We are not going to write two checks tonight. We are actually going to write three checks. So the first winner here is Sloop. Sloop! And uh, High Patch. High Patch, come there on you go. down! That guy. Right. What matter? Everyone's winning. It's the Oprah Show. I'm nervous. It's okay, we got it all right. Number four is Nomad. Nomad, come on down! Congratulations to all of the people that have uh, beat out several thousand startups. You should be very proud. There's not that many startups that get to present in Silicon Valley on a stage like this, on a night like this. And now, the moment we have all been waiting for, Mr. Guy Kawasaki is going to present the 2016 Global Demo Day winner. What a fun evening, what great companies. Um, I consider it a great honor to present the grand prize. Actually, everybody else gave checks and hours, and I'm going to give you a crown. <laughs> so um, the grand prize winner is from Austin, Texas, Automatter. Automatter! For those who don't know, Will is having quite a week from Automatter. Not only did he just win, Will proposed to his girlfriend yesterday at Silicon Valley Week. So he's having quite the week. Once again, I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. I'd like to the, ask the judges and the team to please step down from the stage. How are you? Hi, Arjun, thank pleasure you. to meet you. Pleasure to yeah, meet congratulations. You. It was really awesome. Thank really impressed by what you guys are doing. So, are you based in Nairobi or? Yes. Okay, great. We'll be in Nairobi next week, actually. So, I, it might make sense, to, uh, if, if possible, have you meet with the kind of delegation that's coming through Africa as well. The goal of Angel Hack was to get a meeting with 500 startups. That was number one priority because 500 startups has been in the region for a while now and they're expanding. Hi. Hey, how are you? How are you? Good. Nice Good to, to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. So uh, awesome. maybe I can just like apply so, to... Like, yeah, to, well, to the best thing would be is if you send me an email. And I don't think that he wanted to speak to us because if they wanted to talk to us, then they would have given us one hour at least. So if you can email me a deck and maybe just a short blurb, I'll no make problem. sure Definitely. that I forward it along. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much. Real Feeling. But uh, I still believe what you're doing is awesome. I talked to Guy Kawasaki. <laughs> that guy, I have only read about him. Can you go and use he that book? He my effing name. About to leave. What? I actually have his email. I will write to him. So, I don't think we lost. 
Did the tech ever work? <laughs> <laughs> Did the tech work? Yes, it worked. We were able to train for shoes. We gave it the data. It recognized the shoe. Here's the thing. The demo video we showed was an actual demo video. It was just edited a tiny bit. So, yes, the tech worked. Not as good as advertised, but it still worked. I'm going to come down hard. I know. School is important. School's School's important. important. I need those grades to be something that I can be proud of. Yep. Okay. Get the grades that I didn't get. Yep. Okay. I want those grades. Okay. Yep. It's really important. I love you. What are you looking for? A million dollars the first month? No, why are you acting like a mature person? I'm worried about you because you seem very, very negative. You can't. You can't no, I am negative. I know it's not. You gotta be more positive. I don't want to be positive. Why? I'm realistic. It's not down to one. In my life, with every obstacle, I have to be positive in, every, in order to get past it. No, no, no. You have to be realistic. I don't know if you were actually visualizing what just happened last week, but we got to a very high point. I'm not no, sure why you're not at a high point. We are nothing. You, you, don't, you keep saying we're nothing? We are nothing. Black people in Silicon Valley pitching to, I don't know, white people. <laughs> Powerful, that powerful was, people. That was already, <laughs> like, I even told my team when you were in Africa, the fact that you have already gotten an invitation is a win by itself, and we should be very grateful for having made this far. You know what hurt me? When you told me, Shahar, you are fighting for zero. Right. You, keep, you think Baridi is zero? But, but yes. Why? Because we, it's nothing. People flew halfway around the world, gave up day jobs, you know, put their own money into it. We have nothing riding on this compared to anyone else. Okay, what are you doing now? Relaxing. Are you allowed to relax? I don't know. Good luck, Polkit. Thanks. Hero. We go home. We have our parents who bankroll us. This was just to see how far we could go with our own idea. No, we did it. <laughs> Yay! Oh, this is exciting. This is really exciting. Devin, you want to answer it? What? Any input? Anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's the highs and the lows. There's more lows than there are highs. <laughs> you, see, you just keep looking at the bigger picture. Just the, you, you look at how far you've come along the way. Hello, Salaam. How are you doing, Shaka? Not bad. Long time no talk. I'm alive, yeah. What, what are you doing? How are the kids? I'm watching basketball. The kids are asleep. How are you doing? The problem I'm having is uh, if Ahmed leaves the business, I'm trying to figure out what, what's the strategy after that. Yeah. Which you are, you know, you don't need any, you, you could, you know, put different pieces on these, you don't matter. All right. Hello? Yalla. Anything else? No, everything is fine, alhamdulillah. Okay. You everything good, you should go back to the end next week? Yep. I will be in the air when they decide who's the, who's the president. No, well, well, oh, that'll be an interesting flight. We'll we'll be in the air. <laughs> this is this is still the best country in the world. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. All right.